Good Sunday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis here with your Eaton Sea Weather Update for this February the 9th, 2014. Sun and clouds today across eastern North Carolina with temperatures back in the 50s. Uh, but uh, things are changing and they will change rapidly starting tomorrow. And we're adding in the chance for even some snow showers as we head into Monday. But the big event comes in as we head towards Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into portions of Thursday. We'll detail that all out. A lot of people want to know what's going to happen. Still too early to give specifics. But uh, we can give a generalization of what's going to happen, what we're expecting to happen. This is not going to be a system that we're talking about copious amounts of snowfall, but more so the disruptive impact that it will have on uh, your daily life here in eastern North Carolina for at least two days probably uh, with this system. So let's go ahead and delve into that here in the forecast update video. Here's a look at the satellite and radar and uh, starting to see the clouds increasing again across eastern North Carolina ahead of our next frontal boundary. That moves in here as we head towards tomorrow. Uh, the, I think the frontal boundary will hold off until tomorrow afternoon. And behind that, you see some moisture associated with that as well. All that's coming our way as we head towards Monday. And behind that, the cooler air is going to be in place. And things turn much different as we head into your day on Tuesday. Uh, so let's kind of detail what we're expecting in the short term. Clouds and moisture increasing tonight. Obviously, by the clouds increasing, that's uh, the start of it. Cold front for Monday, and there will be a chance for a rain-snow mix as we head into the afternoon hours of Monday. We're adding that potential in there uh, because the models have trended a little wetter, and that could have an impact on your afternoon and evening plans across eastern North Carolina. Um, not expecting much of accumulation, if any. It may be a quick dusting for our northern counties. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Uh, but the issue will also come in if you do quick pick up anything. It could refreeze as we go below freezing Monday night into Tuesday morning. A wintry mess set up Tuesday, Wednesday. Doesn't matter how you look at it. I don't think we need to be looking at specifics on especially like where exactly things are going to line up. Just know that there's going to be a wintry mess. And then hopefully we'll talk about some warmer temperatures by the latter half of the week. Here's the impact forecast. Well, one of them. Uh, Monday, cold front, chilly highs, rain, snow mixed by the afternoon hours. We've got it at the yellow light. And uh, we'll be watching that closely in the near term as that all evolves uh, through tomorrow afternoon. We could have some impacts for the evening drive time, especially north of US 70. I think that would be the better chances for seeing uh, anything happening possibly some sleet as far south of US 70. Tuesday, the winter system develops a mixed bag of precipitation across the region. Red light there, especially on Wednesday too. Uh, the winter system continues and continuing with a mixed bag of precipitation across eastern North Carolina. Here's a look at our precision forecast model. We'll take you into tomorrow morning. Not an issue tonight. No issues tonight across the east. Temperatures upper 30s and lower 40s. Uh, we'll stay with partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies now as the uh, clouds continue to increase. Then we head into tomorrow. Look off to the west. There's the moisture shield starting to approach us from the north and west. Temperatures at the surface in the 40s. But that could dynamically cool the atmosphere. It could cool the column and we could get some uh, rain snow showers in here as we head towards Monday afternoon as that slides southward as temperatures start to fall behind the frontal boundary. Now this model is, is kicking it all out and, and saying no more. We're done with it. Uh, but there will be that potential all the way south of US uh, to US 70 at least for a rain snow mix and we'll have to watch that closely if anything does start to accumulate uh, lightly at least um, across the area Monday afternoon because that could definitely have an impact on the afternoon and evening drive we want you to be aware of that then we go into the overnight hours and things will start to clear out but the temperatures drop down below freezing through the overnight hours of Monday as skies clear out maybe for a little bit but the clouds are going to be hanging around and uh, things will uh, get interesting as we head into your day on Tuesday so here again there's your frontal boundary it stalls offshore then we go into Tuesday the moisture starts to increase I think this model is too slow I think uh, we're you fast forward this probably about 12 hours or so uh, and the moisture is going to be here starting as early as Tuesday morning but I think by Tuesday afternoon uh, we'll kind of call it a lock uh, and getting the moisture in here starting in our southern counties this is not going to be a system where it's coming in from the from the west or the north uh, well necessarily from the uh, the northwest we're talking about a system coming straight across the border belt you see that right there and you get these little waves of low pressure that will be moving across the area 
and with that a secondary low will form offshore along that stall boundary by Wednesday now the track of that low is going to depend a lot on the uh, forecast as well but at this point in juncture it's just really too hard to tell exactly where the track is going to be and uh, you know this model saying all snow north of highway 70 I don't think that's the case I think we're gonna have a mixed bag across the entire region especially on Wednesday and also on Tuesday as well once this thing starts to ramp up I think the bigger chances of uh, precipitation likely come Tuesday night then we go into Thursday morning still possibly some lingering precip precipitation as that low lifts out but man oh man it's gonna be an interesting 48 hours here across eastern North Carolina here's our thinking right now Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday possibly into early Thursday morning there are going to be multiple changes of precipitation type across eastern North Carolina this is not gonna be a system where we're gonna see just all snow or all sleet you're going to see a change at some point in time uh, for your area that's going to be another part of this forecast that is very hard to pinpoint exactly accumulation type issues and then uh, significant impacts this may not be a system that dumps copious amounts of snowfall or or sleet or anything it may not be copious amounts but the different precipitation types will have a significant impact on things across the east will this forecast change more than likely uh, we're going to be forecasting this thing like we did the last one all the way up until it happens. How high is the certainty? It's certain that this thing is going to happen. Something is going to happen Tuesday and Wednesday. But it is, the uncertainty comes in because of the P-type issues. And what I mean by that, the precipit precipitation type issues. What we're looking at, we've got the rain snow line that's going to be setting up shop right across the area. Literally bisecting our viewing area. Then you're going to have a warm nose, that, that 5 uh, that uh, 5,000 foot area of warm air. And how deep is that? How warm is it? It's going to determine a lot as well. And that's going to bisect the area. And it's going to move back and forth. All these things are going to be moving back and forth as we go through because what you're going to see is these little impulses coming across the area. And each impulse may be a touch north or a touch south. And then you get the main batch, and that happens on Wednesday. The amount of warm air is going to be very pivotal to this forecast. The intrusion with that northward will also be challenging in the forecast as well. Here's our best guess on this thing, and this is a literally just a best estimate for the Tuesday part of this system. Thinking northern areas is going to be a snow sleet type of situation sleet more so with some snow mixing in also some freezing rain this is where you're gonna see your mixed bag down here in this orange area then it's sleet and freezing rain as you head further down to the south and then possibly a cold rain down towards uh, the uh, lowlands of South Carolina then we go into Wednesday and as that warm air starts to pull in from the uh, low pressure system developing offshore that's gonna push that warm air further and further inland and we may have a freezing rain type of situation so we may have snow then all of a sudden you go over to freezing rain and so you've got snow beneath freezing uh, ice this is just going to be hellacious and and trying to figure out how much and where um, and I will say this you're probably gonna see your precipitation type change three four five times during this event this is not gonna be a system like I said that's going to be one precipitation type the entire time and I emphasize that because there's still a lot of uncertainty in that part of the forecast. It's more so that part of the forecast that is giving us the headaches than the actual, is it going to happen? We, we're pretty certain that this is going to happen. It's more so what and where. And literally, as I'm sitting here, I'm watching the new data coming in from the ZRZ NAM, and things have trended a little further south than, uh, than previous thought. And this is why I keep saying that this is a changeable forecast and will likely change even as we go into tomorrow as this thing gets on the board. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can kind of settle down on this, but things continue to change rapidly. This is not going to be a forecast that we're talking about like I said, copious amount. You're not going to see a 12-inch amount of, of snow this time. That's not going to happen. I, I think at best, maybe at the best, uh, four inches at the best. And uh, that's not even a forecast. That's just saying, you know, at the best, that potential is there. But more so, we're going to have to deal with this, these precipitation type issues. And with that being the case, anytime you get a track, the, the low track changing, it's going to change that potential north, south, east, or west. 
Um, so we'll be here and keep you guys updated. We'll keep the blog going on uh, WNCT.com and, and keeping that updated as well. Also, the next update here will be by tomorrow evening. Um, and hopefully tomorrow we're not going to be dealing with much of the way of issues with that little band that could be pushing through the region tomorrow evening across eastern North Carolina. We're just going to have to watch the trends. And, uh, and once again, this is going to be a now casting type of event uh, as we head into tomorrow. So and uh, going into uh, Tuesday and also Wednesday as well. Stay up to date with this Facebook, Twitter, WNCT.com. Next update here, like I said, tomorrow afternoon. Um, we'll keep you guys updated on Facebook, Twitter, and also on our brand new Storm Team 9 app on the Google Play Store and also the Apple App Store. Have a great rest of your evening, a great day tomorrow. Hopefully we won't have any issues, but uh, just be aware of that potential and uh, stay safe out there the next couple of days. But like I said, next update here will be by tomorrow afternoon.